All right, hey there, Prox Gaming Crew. This is Prox Fight here. We're back for some more of the Paper Mario that's as your door on the Nintendo Switch. If you did miss out during the last one, well, we just went and continued on with some of some other things that have been going on right now in the Major League Room, and we're still gonna be jumping on through the different ranks so far, and we're gonna be doing that here in this episode as well too. Now there is gonna be some new enemies which we are gonna have to do some tallying with, but the one enemy that I'm gonna strongly recommend on not really going out of your way to do too much tallying with is gonna be with those Magic Koopa group. Uh, now the Magic Koopa group is somewhat of a very annoying type of team that is going to happen and they do actually hit you for quite a bit of damage so i wouldn't really go out of my way to go and try to do any type of tallying or whatnot uh, for those guys there um now you may possibly get yourself lucky if you do want to go and do a tattle with them but the rest of the other guys you could just go and not really worry about it because we'll be seeing them much more later within other different times of the other said chapters i'm pretty sure that will probably be meeting them up within like somewhere in a chapter or four area or maybe somewhere in like uh uh maybe at the, the tail end type of way uh just before heading off into like the thousand year demon or something like that but here are some of the new enemies that we can go and do right now uh which these guys are not really all that too bad to be honest with you uh except for the other uh two fuzzies that are there uh the regular fuzzy is all right it's just that the jungle fuzzy will actually suck up more amount of hp than currently what the regular fuzzy is and the pink fuzzy or the flower fuzzy actually that's going to be here is going to be the one that's going to be draining a lot of the different flower points which they can become quite annoying uh we'll be seeing more of those type of jungle fuzzies and flower fuzzies in the next next chapter that will be uh or actually sorry the next two other chapters that will be happening after i don't believe fuzzies will actually show up in chapter four but yeah chapter five there's a lot of fuzzies around within that area and uh we're gonna have to battle out with a whole bunch of them which they're gonna be sucking up a whole bunch of different health but at least the good thing is, is that if I can go and take care of like doing their tattling and everything right away, then you guys don't ever have to go and see these battles that are gonna happen with the spawning of these guys that are gonna be showing up there And uh, within these two videos, uh, within our time, uh, not only are we doing, uh, with the course of Paper Mario right now, but we are doing some more of Fall Fantasy X. Uh, we are starting to make our way into the Calm Lands right now, and it's going to be a pretty big area uh, within the Calm Lands, because there is quite a bit of things to go and do. Uh, we can find Elbet Primer, get a new Ronzo ability, and uh, also can't forget that there's going to be some sort of like a chocobo race and some other weapons that we could go and buy uh, within, uh, well, within that said area. But we'll worry about more with in there from when the next episode of Final Fantasy X does happen. And uh, mind you, just to let you guys know that uh, pretty soon right now, I am going to be heading off into my way of Michigan at some point. Uh, currently right now, it is August 12th during the time of this post recording, so I only have about maybe, I want to say at least, well, I'm going to probably say I'm going to have at least around two other times of videos that I'm going to go and try to do, because I do have the 13th and the 14th, I don't think I'm going to be able to do recording of videos on the 50, but it depends on what happens, because I could actually go and do uh, two more other videos during that time, uh, but it depends on exactly when my dad wants me to be over at his house at. Because sometimes, like, uh, whenever we go to Michigan uh, for this type of event that happens with, like, the muscle car shows and everything, my dad always wants to get there, like, super early because of just the, because of just how, how the, the border is for what's going on, and Mind you, it gets pretty annoying with the border crossing there. Because we are going to have to drive, which we are pretty close to it, so... Or relatively close. I want to say really close, but relatively close to it. Alright, so up goes Jolene. And, uh, whoa. Now, this is a mysterious type of cake here, and mind you, I don't know if we're allowed to eat this cake or not, but I have a funny feeling that if I eat this cake, we're going to probably get a game over, and that's not going to be good at all. But it seems like we could just go and eat it well, and we got ourselves with a nice good uh, recovery of health. But we'll continue onwards throughout the rank, and we'll see what goes on now. Hopefully that's not going to cause any type of disruptions or anything. All right, so it looks like we're going to have to put our partner to the test with uh, with Goombella here. 
Is this the one where I have to go and do like uh, double the the type of partner powers that we're gonna have to do? I think that's that's gonna happen here. Well, technically, you could do it like any type of partner. Really, it's just they have to go and use your partner twice. That's gonna happen. So here we go, and this is the battle with the Magic Koopas. Yes. So this is the one where you do not really want to go out of your way to do any tattling. Unless if you really want to be risking it for the biscuit out here and basically damage your own health bar while you're at it. You could go and do it while I'm losing my voice. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. So the one that we're going to be trying to want and go out for our way to go and pick up with is the green Magic Koopa here. I'm pretty sure I don't think we'll be able to find any other of these type of green Magic Koopas later. Uh, so... It's just better if we just go and tell him now, and then we could go and try to get the rest next time. We don't have to do it right away. All right, so after a little bit of battling here, as you guys go and see, these guys are a menace. They have almost about to get ourselves completely destroyed out here, but at least the good thing is, is that Binge went and helped out with the situation, and we're all good. And we got ourselves with a nice good check mark, so we're all good to go from that. And I am pretty certain, though, that even if you do lose out on the way of this type of battle, uh, you still get to battle out with Bowser, but I'm pretty certain I think you will have to go through this set of battle again, but not actually having Bowser again. I'm pretty certain. All right, so here we go. And unfortunately, you don't really have a lot of health at this point in time. So we're going to kind of have to play it safe out here. Uh-oh. So he's going to try to destroy us, huh? Well, I think the first things first is going to probably just throw on an item for us. Uh, let's go for a mushroom fry at least. Recover up a little bit of some stuff there. Now, one thing that we should go and probably do is just keep on using Bitch for a little bit and just keep on gulping him down the size out here. There we go. And that's going to be doing 5 damage. And mind you, this guy has 30 HP, so having that 5 damage is going to probably be somewhat relatively helpful for what this battle is going to have to be showing up here. So we're going to sweet treat our way, make sure that we get enough health all the way back so that we can make sure that we uh, can stay afloat out here for a little bit. Yeah, I'm just going to make sure that we get all that FP as well, just so that we don't have to lose out on it. There we go. And so far, so good. Wow, look at that. Seems like Bitch got way more hearts than I do. That's all right. Okay, so here we go. Going to go for another gulp out here. So now you should be down to 20, right? So if he's at 30... And we hit him for 10 damage there. Well, equivalent with the 5 damage together, that makes it up to 10. So he should at least be down to 20. Alright, and there we go. It's just like that. Now we get to have a little bit of a dialogue here with Goobella for Bowser. Yes, and by the way, he does actually have a poisonous bite as well, too. So that can become a little bit of a factor. Uh, if you're like me, that doesn't really have a whole bunch of items right now at this point in time. But after a little bit of some battling here, we only got ourselves just very much close to the one damage that we do want. So let's just make sure that we do go and uh, get him from here. Uh, and unfortunately, bitch can't do it. He's too much of a baby to do it. His jumps are not going to be able to do a whole lot. All right, we'll have to go for another spin jump here. There we go, and that went to take him out, and that spin jump helped out big time. Very nice. Okay, and I think with that being said in mind, guys, I think we are now going to finally be done here within this episode for today, so I'll give off my outro here. So, since we just already went about it with Bowser, there are some other things that we are going to have to go and worry about for next time. Uh, so, we'll still be jumping throughout the Major League. Uh, so, I'll be seeing you guys when we go and continue onwards with more of what Paper Mario is going to be all about here uh, for the 1,000-year door. And, uh, and, of course, peace.